How to Prepare for an Aptitude Test Has your school scheduled you and your classmates to take an aptitude test? If you're going to be taking an aptitude test in school, you might be nervous. Maybe you don't know what to expect from the test. Maybe you're worried about what the results might mean. Aptitude tests are tests made to give you an idea of what career you might excel at. The point is to identify career fields that you could be good at and would be happy in, based on your interests, strengths, and weaknesses. This is not a test that you can pass or fail, so don't let that fear worry you. Part 1 Evaluating Your Interests 1. Write down your interests. Think about what your interests are. Think about what you like to do in your spare time, what subjects in school you like the best, and what sort of jobs you can imagine yourself doing in the future. Then write a list of what your top interests are. Try to write as many as you can think of. 2. Consider how you spend your free time. When you don't have any responsibilities to tend to, such as school, chores, or a job, what do you do? Ask yourself this question and be honest to yourself about what you like doing most when you have free time. You likely spend your leisure time doing things that relate to your interests. 3. Visualize your dream job or jobs. Brainstorm careers that might be good for you given these interests. For example, if you like math and like figuring out how things work, engineering might jump to mind. If you like people and you're good at figuring out what motivates people, psychology might be something to consider. This is essentially like giving yourself an aptitude test. Part 2. Considering Your Strengths 1. Take inventory of your strengths and weaknesses. Think long and hard about what you're good at and what you're bad at. What subjects in school do you really do well at? Are you good at memorizing, or do you learn better with hands on activities? Think about both the abstract things you're good at, like deducing conclusions from facts, and the concrete skills you have, like making speeches or doing geometry. Write these things down on paper. 2. Ask a friend or family member about what your strong points are. Sometimes it can help to get an outside opinion. Ask someone who knows you well what they think you're particularly good at. You may be surprised at the things they list that you might not have thought of. 3. Assess what about yourself gives you pride. Things that give your pride are probably going to be things that you're both passionate about and good at. You want your eventual career to be something you're passionate about and good at, so thinking about what makes you proud is a good place to start. 4. Look for patterns. As you're listing what you like to do and what you're good at, you might start to notice patterns. If you don't see a pattern, it's okay. You can even ask a friend to read over your list and see if they see a pattern. Look for things that your strengths and interests have in common with one another. Maybe you seem to be good at logical reasoning and math and you have an interest in cars and the way things work. Maybe you have an interest in meeting people and connecting with others and you're good at reading people and getting people to open up. Part 3 – Taking the Test 1. Eat well and stay hydrated before. The day before the test, you want to go to sleep somewhat early so you're not too groggy in the morning. The morning of, you want to drink plenty of water and eat a full, healthy breakfast. This will get your brain working at its best. 2. Stay calm. Avoid caffeine before taking the test as it can increase anxiety. Take deep, slow breaths when you need to. Take the test slowly. There's no rush. If it helps you stay calm, skip the questions that you're unsure about the first time around so you don't get needlessly frustrated with tough decisions. 3. Read the instructions thoroughly. 
Before you answer a single question, read the directions carefully so you know exactly what you're doing. The test should include instructions that are very clear, which means you'll have no trouble figuring out what to do if you read them carefully. If you don't understand any of the instructions, ask for clarification. 4. Be honest with yourself. Attempting to influence or sway results won't get you anywhere. The test is meant to give you an idea of what major or career path you might excel at, so just be as honest with your answers as you can. Trying to answer questions in order to get a certain result will just make the test pointless.